The function I have right now creates an unordered list that displays a list item for each of the available categories on my site, provided there's content within those categories. But that's not really what I want. What I want is to display only the categories that have a category image attached to them, and then I also want to display the category image itself. Now, if you think about it, we've actually already done that previously in the course. If you go back to the archive.php template file, you'll remember at the top of the function we created, we put in a conditional statement that first tested whether or not the function existed, meaning the plugin is activated, and then tested to see whether or not we actually had an image using this Z taxonomy image URL is not equals null. So I'm going to use this exact same function here. So I'll just copy it out and go and paste it in here at the very top. And now I can test whether or not each of the categories actually has a category image. So I've started an if loop here, and that means I need to indent all this content down here and then end my if loop before I end my for each loop. And then I have to make one more change. I have to make sure this Z taxonomy image URL is actually pointing at the current term ID. And that's something we've already done previously right here, get category link cat term ID. So I'm simply going to copy that out and paste it in. That way we're testing for the current term we're looking at. If we didn't do that, we would be testing to see if the current page we're on has a taxonomy image URL, but it's a page. So that would never happen. Now I can save this and go and reload the page and my list will be reduced from a lot of categories to just the five that actually have category images. Now I can go in and change the code some more to add in the category images themselves. And once again, we've already done this before. So I can go back to my archive and here you see we have the figure and the image. So I'll copy this out, go back to category index, find where I start my link right here and then paste in the new code. And then I'm going to grab this cat cat name here and put it inside the figure and then wrap it in a fig caption. So now the image will be displayed if the image exists and we'll also get a fig caption that describes the image so that screen readers can understand that the caption is directly related to the image itself. I'm just going to clean up my HTML here save it. And when I now go reload my page, you'll see I've made an error. I have the names of the categories and they are now fig captions, but I'm missing the image. And that's because just like before, I have to put in the cat term ID as the variable inside this Z taxonomy image URL function to make sure that the function is actually pointing at the current term we're looking at, not at the current page we're looking at. So now I'll save it again and reload the page. And here we have a list item with an image and then the name of that particular category term. The next image, name of category term. And if I click on the image or the name, I'm taken directly to that category archive page. This means everything is working properly. The next step is to make sure this actually looks nice because right now this is not really a good user experience.